And Donna, it's a pleasure for me to join you. Um, I'm still scratching my head why I'm even here. I feel like I'm kind of like the accidental appellate attorney. And um, what I mean by that is Donna and I currently probably have anywhere between 20 and 25 pending appeals that are before various uh, appellate courts in, in, in the state right now. And I come to this um, really more as a trial lawyer and even before that as a real estate attorney. So I'm kind of backing into this process uh, very accidentally and taking my lumps uh, along the way. I'm curious just by a show of hands, how many of you consider yourself trial lawyers versus appellate lawyers? So those of you who are, who are trial lawyers, please, please raise your hand. Okay, this is great. And those who are appellate lawyers? So it's really actually more trial lawyers here yeah. today than appellate, and that, and that is fantastic because that's really what the purpose of this was. We were concerned that there would be more appellate lawyers here than trial lawyers only because different parts of the bar weren't as encouraging and supportive of having trial lawyers here today. So this is, this is very good. Uh, just as opening remarks, uh, just yesterday as I was coming back from the courthouse, a friend of mine who's a real estate foreclosure defense attorney called me and said, you know, we want to do this appeal. Uh, we just tried to get a sale canceled. We filed a, a motion to, uh, to cancel the sale uh, and, and we, it was dismissed summarily. Uh, what can we do to appeal? And I said, well, were you the counsel of record from the beginning? No. Do you know if there was a court stenographer there? No. Are there any pending motions? No. There was absolutely no foundation. There is no predicate that exists for us to even consider jumping in, a, in on an appeal. And so what today we want to do is talk about if we're going to go to trial, what are our objectives? So our objectives are obviously to win, but you don't necessarily win a trial. What you have to do is set up a foundation so that should you lose at trial, that you have the possibility of winning on appeal. And so even if you win a trial, you have to be prepared for an appeal, especially if, if, they're, if it's big stakes litigation. And so a trial attorney needs to be thinking literally several steps ahead, as we have learned by taking our lumps. And so that is why Donna is, is in constant consultation with us before trial, at trial, and post-trial. Because if you don't do that, sure, you can win a trial, but then you could be tied up in appeal for years. And if you haven't set up the proper foundation, if you are going up against well endowed uh, opponents, you will be killed. And, and so what you need to do is make sure that you have decided that if you're going to go to trial, that you have done everything that you need to do to make sure, A, that you're going to win a trial, but if you don't win a trial, that you make sure that you're going to possibly have some good appeals set up so that you can either negotiate and settle the matter at the end of the day, or in the alternative, actually win, win, win uh, on appeal. And the converse is that even if, if you do win, you could lose on appeal. And so you have to be prepared for that too. And so uh, that's kind of what I've learned and that's why my name appears on you know, probably 20 or 25 appeals right now with, with Donna on both sides where we've won and we're being appealed and a few times where we've lost and we feel that, that we should have won. But most of the times we're, we have won cases and those cases are now being, being appealed. And so uh, where this all shakes out, I guess will be maybe something we'll find out more at lunchtime from how the judges decide. Because the one thing I don't understand is how the, the DCAs around the state decide their decisions. It, to me, it's a black box. And, 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 and Donna's been doing this for years, and I'll say, why did we win this? Why did we lose this? And, 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 and as she will attest, most of the time she cannot answer my questions. And, and so for me, it, it's the befuddlement of, of, of this practice area. And that makes it fascinating. And, and maybe the, the judges will let their hair down a little bit today and explain to us why sometimes they don't even give an opinion. You get a per curiam and you don't even know why you won or lost. And then why sometimes they, they choose to, to decide on something that even, isn't even material to the case. And it just, for me, it's, it's, it's fascinating. But um, I thank you all for, uh, and the bar particularly, for inviting me here today because as I said, I have no idea why I'm really here. <laughs>